if you want to get to the point source of a problem in order to solve it, and if we have a problem with respect to living in harmony either with each other or with nature or in balance or in a way which is not uh, offensive, we find, try and find what the essence is or the point source of that problem is. And if we don't find that, that means we may find a symptom that we can cure or another symptom that we can find a remedy for or change around, but you still have the problem emanating from the source. And so my work has brought me into this to work on what I was, have been able to identify as the source from the moment I recognized that there was a disconnection. And that disconnection was that I felt inherently and genetically, I felt an attraction to write with my left hand, and society was saying, you're not allowed to do that. The story world says that's wrong, and you sit on your left hand or you do something else, but the effects of that are bad, and a lot of people have experienced that of the 10% or so of us who are the diversity of left-handedness. But once, I've, once I identified that as a kid, I never let go of it. I just kept on that natural attraction trail, and then sooner or later I started finding natural attraction being the essence of holding things together, no matter what the thing is. If it's a thing, if it's something that you can put a label on as a noun, it means that noun is being held together by natural attraction. And if it's a verb, which means it's motion, that's a natural attraction actually in motion doing its thing. But all these words are basically talking about natural attraction in a more stable or less stable or in an energy or material context. So the essence then becomes natural attraction itself. And if you understand that or you recognize it or validate it in the story that you're receiving things in and you're looking for natural attraction, every time you find it, you're touching and in genuine, authentic contact with the real thing whether it be another person, or whether it be plant, animal, and mineral. And as long as you're working with that essence, and you've let that come into your thinking, then that kind of thinking also becomes attractive. And so therefore, by being on the attraction trail, you are working with the point source, and you're letting the point source tell you how it solves these problems when the disconnection of literacy from the source uh, is not able to do that because the answer it's looking for is non-literate. So that's really what, what what the essence of this is. And the more I get into natural attraction and looking into it, you can go all the way back, which I've done in terms of the sense of reason being attractive. It's attractive for something to be reasonable. Look what science has done with respect to the evidence it's able to gather in terms of being reasonable about how the universe comes together, and it goes back to 14 billion years or so ago, and this theory of Big Bang or something happening where there was nothing, and all of a sudden there was something, and that something exploded or expressed itself, was attracted to manifest itself, and then cool itself, and the cooling process or the coalescing process started forming strings, started forming subatomic particles, they're all attracted to each other. They started forming relationships that we call atoms, and the atoms start coalescing and forming molecules, and you just keep going attraction, attraction, attraction. So everything is natural attraction, and my senses and feelings, like the sensation of thirst, is also an attraction. Part of the same kind of thing. So if I and I inherit, and people inherit, so they can be conscious and use their consciousness to think with. They inherit at least 53 different ways that I've been able to identify of letting natural attraction speak to them and become aware of it, not because they discovered it out there, but they let out there rediscover it and ignite it and energize it into consciousness and into so we are aware of it and can think with it. And think, therefore, in conjunction with nature and therefore find answers from nature that 
person to balance with the whole. So the essence of it, and the essence of it from the beginning, is for the work I do, has been more and more getting into international attraction.